Ladies and gentlemen, hello. Today I bring you a box roulette battle against my very good friend Jade Hex. Jade Hex is the sick, uh, sadistic mind who designed my RU team. So if you hate that team with fiery passion, blame him, not me. I mean, I guess you should blame me for using the team, but yeah, it's it's his crazy mind that came up with the team. Although I did make some modifications. So, uh, fun fact, uh, we have battled several times in the past, and every time we have battled, he has won. Uh, except for once where we tied, and that was a really great battle, um, but, uh, and that was a really great day for me. But yeah, he is never, uh, I've never won, won against him in, uh, any team. So, got this battle, box roulette, I was thinking, let's just randomize it. I had just had a very serious battle, a UU battle that you'll see next week. Um, and so I just wanted, uh, fun, who, who gives, uh, battle. Uh, and yeah, so I have a, I have Ditto, and so that's actually from my Ubers team, and then I have uh, Umbreon, and then I've got a Chandelure who's decent, and then I've got a bunch of crap. Uh, Lanoon will, you know, if I could actually sleep with it, then that would make my day, but it's probably not going to happen. And I've got Rotom, which is uh, not a form Rotom, and that's like, oh, that makes me so happy, I've missed the thing. And I also have a Kragma, with a, which I just added to this team. Anyway, first turn, he leads off with Florgus, I let off with my Ditto, so I get to scout his set, and I see it's just a standard Cleric set, and I know that my uh, Chandelure walls him, so this is great, and uh, that's fine, except for he gets... The first turn, Moonblast special attack drop, and I'm like, seriously? That's okay, I've got Tachikoma as well. So I go out into my other ghost. Yeah, I've got two very similar, I feel like they're very similar ghosts, they're not actually that similar. But I go out into my other ghost, as he goes out into George III, yes, this is the exact same George III that is on my RU team. The deal was, he would design the team, and I would breed it, and then I'd give him copies of all, everyone. So, uh, that's the same George III that you see on my RU team, the exact same, it's the same clone. So I go ahead and set up a sub. Um, because his Slow King was probably going to switch out. This is a really weird set, and actually, it gets even weirder if you know the origin of this set. I designed this for a doubles team. I designed this for my first Gen 4 doubles team. Uh, it, you know, it didn't work out well there either. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's a charge beam. It's a, uh, it's a charge beam plus shadow ball plus hidden power fighting plus sub. It's a really weird set, especially to have in doubles. Um, but it's just, just I, it just warmed my, the, um, it just warmed my heart to see it again after all these years. Because I always, I have Rotom, I battles with Rotoms fairly often, but not the, you know, non-appliance form. So, I go for Shadow Ball, I'm just basically saying, take me out, dude. Um, so he goes for the, um, yeah, so he gets the special attack low, lower again, and I'm like, well, you know, maybe I do want to switch it out and preserve it for later. Plus, I know that, uh, Chandelure will survive the hit. Of the moon blast, and I can recover off. Uh, so it's not the same chandelier that you saw the last time I, or not the last time I had a box full of metal battle, but a few times ago I had a chandelier, and uh, it was the other chandelier that I bred. So this is a different chandelier. This is a uh, life orb sub split set, and so I've got the pain split, and that's going to allow me to oh, get the special attack lower a third freaking time in a row. And I'm like, what? I, you know, I get I. This game hates me. It's, it's just a fact of life that this game hates me. Uh, so I go ahead and, and pain split here and get back up to decent health. So you'll notice, by the way, that he's got that Florgus, which is a special wall. It's a complete special wall. And he tell, he's telling me in this battle, it's a special wall. None of your attacks, none of your special attacks are going to do jack to this guy. And I look at my team like, well, I've got two physical attackers. I've got Lanoon, which I can't take him out with a non-boosted, uh, a non-belly drum experience speed. And his attack will do more than 50%. Um, and I've got Umbreon, who's weak to fairy, and also only has dark type moves. So, and it's gonna go off his attack. So that's just not gonna, that's just not gonna work out. Now, maybe there was some kind of weird strategy I could play with Mick wishing and then dying, I don't know. Uh, and then Lanoon would come in and then belly drum and then get back, I don't know, it just wouldn't have worked. So, uh, what am I saying here? I am leaving in Tachikoma to die, uh, because I needed the free switch into someone. The Tachikoma is going to die here, and hopefully when I send out Chandelure now, send it out now, uh, he's not going to get the fourth special attack lower, because that would suck. So he goes ahead and protects, just to scout out what I'm going to do, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hit you with the most powerful move I've got, that's Fire Blast. Here I decide to switch it out, just in case he went out into Slowbro, uh, Slow King, excuse me, and I uh, get the special defense lowered. 
So that's awesome. I was not expecting that, and that's that makes up for a little bit of my sad, sad life. So uh, he gets me down to 35. Uh, was that right? 35? Yes. Um, with that moon blast, so I will have to pain split here, or else die because I don't think even at minus one I'd be able to KO. So he goes ahead and sends out. Uh, I'm not gonna even try to pronounce this. Um, I really should have looked up how. So. Yeah, Jaden Hex is one of the people who kept on telling me how you pronounce this Pokemon's name. And so he said while we were having this battle, you better not mispronounce this Pokemon's name. And I said, LOL, and now you psyched me out, and so I can't remember how it's pronounced, so I'm not even going to try. I'm not going to call it by anything. It's that dark dragon Pokemon, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce this name, because I do not want you all be to be uh, uh, correcting me in the comments. I know you're going to say... Antar, it's blah blah blah, and you know, yes, I will, after this battle, after I finish narrating this battle, I will look up what it's pronounced, and I will say yes, it's blah blah blah, so there's no need to tell me Antar is pronounced blah blah blah, um, although I'm sure some of you will anyway, because that's the kind of people that are on the internet and post on YouTube comments. I love you guys, I love you all, um, but so anyway, so we've got a case here of two Pokemon that really can't do anything to each other, because, uh, he's a special attacker, and I only have one move that is uh, resisted by him. So, and he's got Roost, and I've got Wish. So nothing's really going to happen here. And you'll notice this battle is 13 minutes long, because there's a lot of boring nothing happening. Uh, so he decides to withdraw, because he's like, eh, this is boring. Let's do something else. This was supposed to be a fun battle, folks. This was supposed to be fun. I don't know where it went wrong. So I go ahead and Wish. Uh, because I was thinking, yeah, what the hell, maybe he'll switch, maybe I'll switch. Uh, I think I could go out and, as long as he didn't fire blast, I could go out into my Cryagonal. So I go now out into Ikea, and uh, because I just could not take the chance of him going for superpower. I mean, this switch was obvious, but I just had to do the switch out, and so I lose my Ikea, and I realize now I've really got nothing for that Floridus. So now I go out into Tier, which is my Cryagonal. Uh, I would have been Tyrion. That's spelled with an A, not an O, because it's not a ref. So it would have been, but this was in the Japanese games, um, back before they came out in English, so I was stuck to five characters. Um, but yeah, Tyrion with an A, not an O, because it's not a reference to Game of Thrones, not a reference to Game of Thrones, it's a reference to an awesome game called Tyrion, or Tyrion 2000, depending on the iteration. Uh, it was a space side-scroller, um, made in, like, the late 90s, back when, you know, the world had progressed past side-scrollers, and uh, I, I don't know where I came across it, but I loved that game with every fiber of my being, and there was a boss ship in it that looked kind of like Cryagle, so hence the name um, and reference. So, um, he's going to want to switch out. He, he paralyzed me, uh, but I got synchronized, so I paralyzed him back, and now I'm just going to go for Heal Bell because I don't want to be paralyzed. He can be paralyzed if he wants, but I don't want to be paralyzed. Now, he does have Florgus, and Florgus, I know, does have the aromatherapy, so if he wants to shed himself of the paralysis at some point, he can. Here, I realize I've got no free switches into this uh, this Malamar, and uh, I'm just going to have to let him superpower me. Uh, but, so I go for Wish. I was just, I was actually surprised that superpower didn't do more. It looks like a plus one superpower uh, will not take me out of full health, and so now that I've gotten the Wish, I can go for Protect and get back up to full, and what, let, uh, then I realize this is stupid. You know, it's just, you're just letting him get to plus two attack, plus two defense, or plus three if I... No, I'm sorry, plus three. All right, he's he would be at plus two anyway if I'd let him KO me, but now he'll be at plus three when he KOs me, and that's just stupid. Why are you letting him set up on you? Uh, but I've got no choice. I got no choice. So uh, I let him go for the superpower, and I figure, let's just go for the foul play. And now his attack's getting raised, but so is his defense. I'm thinking, maybe I'll get a crit. Then I'll KO, and then the Cax Gods will have loved me. And no, it doesn't happen. I do about half, though. That's really impressive. I'm quite impressed by that. I'm quite, quite happy with the amount of damage it does. And then I get to start thinking, you know what? I bet Cryagon could take him out at that range of health. Because as I recall, Cryagon actually has decent special attack. I've got a decently powerful move on it. Uh, it's not, like, super powerful, but it's, it's powerful. And, you know, there's a good chance I can take him out because these boosts are coming on the defensive side, not the special defensive side. So, um, yeah, so I lose I lose Umbreon, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and center Cryogonal. And the second I do, which is this second right here, I realize how much of an idiot I am because I have, I have the Ditto! 
I could have all those boosts and everything, and then I could potentially sweep him. He was like, yeah, but I've got plenty of Pokemon that could deal with him, and my speed is really low, so it doesn't matter that you're Scarf. Um, but, you know, at plus three, I'm pretty sure I could take attacks from Vickersby. So now, uh, I go, so I'm speeding up this part because it's long and boring. I decide I'm just, I just need, uh, Tear to die. I need Tear to die. I need him to KO me with some Fire Blasts, and that'll be that, and I can get the free switch into Lanoon, even though it'll get paralyzed, and I checked it didn't have the Lumberry, um... You know, it should. I still might be able to do stuff. So he gets me down to 29 HP. I'm like one more, and I get the free switch in, and that'll be awesome. Uh, by the way, he tells me, "Hey, you know what? Uh, Crackles get freeze dry." I'm like thinking, "What? That's awesome!" And so I actually, after this battle, I swapped out the move for uh, freeze dry. It's only got one real attacking move. The other two are haze and, or it's, it's haze, rapid spin, and recover is the last one. So I actually could have stalled him out if I wanted. And so notice. So what I'm not saying, the reason that I, uh, what's going on here is that he kept, keeps getting fully paralyzed. And so that's why I had to speed up this battle, because it was like four minutes of nothing but him getting fully paralyzed. And, and I'm joking with him, and I'm saying, had I known you were going to get paralyzed, so yeah, and then he, I survive on 11 after all those paralysis. Like, if I'd known you were just going to get fully paralyzed, I would have sent in Lanoon like three turns ago. And lol, lol. But um, no, seriously, like... The hacks gods are like, oh, you look, he's getting paralyzed too, it's okay. It's like, no, it's not okay, game. It's not. Because I want him to kill me here. Context matters. Um, so I go ahead and keep going for ice beams because I just want him to KO and I could, I could actually stall him out. So here he finally takes me out and that's why I've slowed the battle down to a human speed. Uh, and Kragle is going to get taken out. And now I get the free switch into Lanoon and I calc it and I cannot KO even with the seed bomb at the my at uh plus zero but an extreme speed will ko at plus six so i'm gonna go for the belly drum i don't think that scald will take me out and i'm thinking he's not gonna go for scald anyway he's gonna go for the t wave so he's gonna t wave but it doesn't matter since i'm just gonna be going for the extreme speeds so he t waves me here lanoon's gonna get paralyzed and i'm gonna take him out with extreme speed and hopefully do a significant chunk to his t uh, like take out a significant chunk of his team i don't think i'll be able to beat everyone but i should be able to beat some pokemon so here it comes, go for the extreme speed, and I get fully paralyzed! <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, this freaking game. Oh, oh, this game, this game. Oh, this game. Oh, I hate this game so much. I hate it, I hate it so much. Oh, I hate it so much. So now I go out into Ditto, and I realize, okay, this is a slow king against a slow king. Uh, neither of us have moves that are super effective against each other, and I don't want to stall this out, so I just, I resign. I don't usually resign, but in this case I just wanted the torture to end. And I hope you folks can appreciate that. So I hope uh, you at least found this battle amusing. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge, and take it easy.